Ah, mabagal wifi. O sige. Habol na lang siya siguro. Okay, sige. Sige. Um, ayun, nandiyan na siya. Okay. Ayan. Um, ayan o. Sige. So, bago tayo mag-start, Um, uh, hello, uh, welcome muna sa lahat. Uh, welcome sa third session natin today. Uh, I haven't prepared your chemistry tracks yet. So, let's start with the physics and statistics that I have. Pero ngayon, um, let's start with uh, physics ulit. No? Pero before that, um, para lang sa mga hindi pa alam, sige, let's uh, practice a bit of uh, basic trigonometry. Crash course lang, no? Um, sige, let's go. Uh, here we go. Um, ito. Kasi kailangan natin siya for, uh, kailangan natin siya for, uh, for solving kinematics problems today. Kasi today we're going with uh, two-dimensional kinematics. Okay? Sige, let's see. Um, okay. So, spin natin mayroon. Uh, sige, um, to, 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 meron na. Um, sige, let's start with ito. Theta is the angle ng triangle natin. So, we have A, B, C. Oh, sine theta. Ay, so, katoa pala, no? So, katoa. So, katoa. No, angle, no? Sige, Sabihin natin sine theta. Uh, so, katoa. So, opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite, as in opposite ng angle. Side opposite ng angle. So, B over C. Cosine theta equals to adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent theta opposite over adjacent B over A Yan, yun lang, no? Yan lang siya. Okay, next. Paano naman kung meron tayo inverse, no? Paano naman kung may inverse? Inverse, inverse. Sulat ko ulit ta. Kunin natin yung mga inverse angle. So, pag sinabi ko sine inverse, to get the measure of this angle, I just uh, plug this in the calculator, no? B over C. Equals, theta equals to, ano pa? Ito rin, cosine inverse dito. Equals cosine inverse dito. Ay tangent inverse. Kumbaga, um, what angle... Hey, what, uh, what angle measure makes it such that when I get the sine, it's B over C? What angle is it possible para when I get the cosine, it's equal to A over C? Uh, what angle is it possible para pag kumuha ako ng, uh, ng tangent, it's equal to B over A? Let me fix yung resolution. Yan, there we go. Yan, yan. Sige, example, example. Um, example, ito. 1, 3, 5. Hindi right triangle. Sorry. Ito pa. 3, 4, 5. Ito, theta. Sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine theta adjacent side over hypotenuse. Tangent theta equals opposite side over adjacent. Three four. Okay? Tapos, paano ko kukunin yung measure nito? I'll just use sine inverse, no? Kasi yun na yung convenient sa akin. Sige. 
around 36.9 degrees. You can use your calculator naman. Okay. Sige. Um, I hope everyone gets that naman. Ngayon, let's start sa main lesson natin today. So, um, today we're going to start with two-dimensional kinematics. Kumbaga, uh, we have motion upward and to the right example at the same time. Tawag doon two dimensions. Kasi yung ginagawa natin for the last week, one dimension lang. It's either purely taas pa ba or kaya left to right. No? Today, we're going to do two dimensions. Pero before that, uh, we're going to start with vectors. Uh, the previous batch told me, uh, wala pa kayong uh, idea about vectors at all. So sige, let's start with that. Kasi uh, to solve two-dimensional kinematics, and lalo na sa forces, uh, which is our next lesson, dynamics, kailangan uh, we know how to operate with vectors. No? Kaya I hope that you can master what we're going to learn today. Sige, let's start. Uh, naming vectors. No? Uh, let's say we have a force vector. Uh, force vector, like this, uh, 100 newtons, plus with an angle of 30 degrees below the x-axis. How do we name this? How do we name this? Important to, kasi uh, you'll see na given sa mga tanong, uh, na sa forces, lalo na dito, di ba natin mga tanong, uh, it's based, uh, ganto sila, ganto sila sasabihin sa'yo, no? Um, we have three options. Actually, there's one more. Wait lang. 100 newtons, 30 degrees south of east. That's how we call, that's how we name this vector. That's one of the uh, that's one of the ways. Kasi nga, uh, remember our position axis, di ba? Naalala natin, it's a Cartesian plane. North, north, east, south, west. Just the same old four directions, no? That's 30 degrees south of east. As in literally. Our vector is 30 degrees south of east. Ano pa pwede? 60 degrees east of south. Oh, 60 degrees east of south. No, East of south. Yan siya. 100 newtons, 330 degrees. Bakit? Diba? Um, ang isang revolution around this is 360 degrees. Diba? May meron tayong 30 degrees dito. Kasi one of the ways to measure angles dito sa physics is from the x-axis. Counterclockwise. No? That's one of the methods. Parang sa mat lang din. No? Um, same way. 330 degrees ito. Or, if you want, pwede ko rin sabihin, 100 newtons, negative 30 degrees. That's the other way of naming it. Kaya lang, it's not used most of the time. Pag negative yung angle natin, it goes clockwise from the x-axis. Pag positive yung angle natin, it goes counterclockwise from the x-axis. Okay? Sige, before I move on, gets ba? Ako naman. O oh, sige, I'll give ano... I'll give more examples bago tayo mag-name ng mga vectors. O, oh, game, ha? Ah, excuse me. Wait lang, may tumawag sa akin. Okay na. Pumasok na. na. Yes. Ano oras kayo, mga kawe? Andito na kami. Dahil ko na bakas. Hindi, kasi kailangan ko na ng bagong marker, eh. Sige, sige, bye-bye. May uwi kayo? Oh, may may uwi kayo? Oh, ano ano? Okay. okay lang, konti lang to. Sige na bye. Oh, talaga? Okay. Oh. Sige, sige, bye bye. Okay, sige, let's uh let's continue some examples. Uh game. Oh, example. Uh, velocity, uh, displacement vector, 20 meters. Tawag naman dyan, dito naman. Displacement vector, um, 20 meters. Angle is 25 degrees. 
Well, how do I name this? I have four options ulit. Negative 155, uh, 20 meters. Negative 155 degrees. Ano pa? 20 meters. 180 plus 25 is 205 degrees. Ano pa? 20 meters. 25 degrees. South of west. 20 meters. Ito rin, pwede. 65 degrees. West of south. No? It really depends on you on how you want to name the vectors. It's on your own discretion. Okay, what's next? Um, oh, sige, paano guys pag ganto naman? Paano pag ganto? Paano pag naka... Paano pag example ganto, no? Um, pag ganyan. Hmm. Yan yung vector natin. Velocity vector. 20 meters per second. No? Oh. I can say 20 meters per second is 20 meters per second, 0 degrees. No, yun ang, yun ang ilan sa mga options. And same follows for the others. Okay? Sige, I have an exercise for you. I'll give you 5 to 10 minutes to finish this. Uh, look at the PowerPoint na lang. Ayun, once you're done, uh, please uh, send me a PM. Para ma-check natin, no? Okay. Pag meron kayong digits, pag may tanong kayo, please, um, go lang ask me. Or kahit yung GC, or kahit voice chat is fine.
Ah, okay. Um, may nagtanong sa akin, no? Um, isa lang daw ba na name per angle or all for possible? Um, ano lang? Isa lang, isa lang, no? Isa lang. Uh, any. Basta, uh, isang isang name lang for the vectors, no? Okay na yun. Okay, let's be here. Yan, may nagsasabit na. Sige, let's check, ha? Um, let's see, let's see. Three meters per second, 50 degrees. Four meters per second, 150 degrees. Ten meters per second, 210. 30 meters per second, 295. 35 meters per second. Okay, pag hina-heart reacts ko, tama yun. Okay, good job. North of West. Okay. Yan. Marami namang possible answer dito. No? So, pag tama yun, na heart reacts ko. Good job. So, ito, negative uh, 20 degrees north of East, 30 west of North, 30 degrees south of West, 20 degrees east of South, 0 degrees. Ayan. Good job. Thank you for answering. Sige. Okay. Yan, this is my own answer. Uh, lahat nung, lahat nung sagot yung tama. Chinik ko yan. So, ayan, um, ako if I were to name it, ito lalagay ko. Pero sige, we will skip that na kasi tama naman yung ginawa nyo. Kaya lang, sige, ito naman ngayon. Baliktad naman, okay? I'll give you five, dig five minutes naman for this one. I'm sure, okay. By the way, pag southwest lang, ibig sabihin nun, nasa gitna siya ng south at west. So, big sabihin yung angle niya is 45 degrees. Okay? Alam lang. Sige, I want you to try drawing the following vectors naman. Um, I'm not particular naman about kung maganda ba yung drawing or hindi. Importante lang sa akin na 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 na, 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 na ng tama yung mga uh, vector nyo. Uh, yung angle, yung magnitude, no? yun na importante sa akin. Sige, I'm going to give you 5 minutes ulit. Okay? 5 minutes for this one. Let's try. Ay, sorry. Um, wait lang, ah. Teka, teka, may mali ako. Never mind, never mind. Yan, yan pala. Okay, yan na lang. No? Okay. There, there, there. Updated. No? Never mind yung sinabi ko kanina. Yan. I want you to draw these vectors on the Cartesian plane. Uh, label nyo lang yung mga angle na yan. Tapos okay na tayo. 5 minutes.
Ayan, good job. Tama. Very good. Atras. Sige, two, last two minutes. Ayan. Good job. 40 degrees. Good job. Okay. Sige. Kaya na load pa. Mm-hmm. Magal mag-load. Ayan, here we go. There we go. Ayan, catch nyo na. Good job. So, we'll go further and a bit faster, no? Good job. Magaling kayo. Heart reaction. Okay. Sige. Ayan, let's go back to our slides. Ah, uh, here we go. Ngayon, um, ayan, okay. This is how it looks like. Good job. Okay. Adding vectors by components, you know, uh, vectors can be broken down into components like this one, no? for example. Uh, kung baga, if meron tayo vector, it has x and y components. So, if like, it's like simple graphing lang, no? Uh, get yung katapat na x and um, get yung katapat na y, which is this one, no? Tapos yun yung theta natin. Most of the time sa physics, ang convention is that pag nag-specify sila ng angle, it's always from the east, no? X-axis parate, starting from there, no? Pag nag-specify sila ng angle. Okay? Sige. Uh, vectors can be broken down into components. Tapos, um, when you add these components, it's equal to this. Yan, this is straightforward. There's a method to do that. Uh, v is called the resultant vector of its components. Okay? Remember that. Um, vectors can be seen as a right triangle. Kaya ako nagturo ng uh, right, angle, tri right triangle trigonometry kanina. It can be seen as a right triangle and thus we can easily get the x and y components of the vector. Paano yun? Diba? Remember that sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse by the way, we are just talking about the magnitudes. No? Magnitudes na yung pinag-uusapan natin dito. Okay? In direction, mamaya pa yun. Kaya wala silang arrow dito, no? Kasi magnitudes yan. So, kung naman yung measure nila, yun yung isa-substitute dyan. So, sine theta equals to Vy over V opposite over hypotenuse. Uh, so, sine theta equals Vx over V Tapos, uh, tangent theta equals dy over dx. Opposite over adjacent. Thus, we can solve for the y component, v sine theta, x component, v cosine theta, and yung angle in between, which is conveniently always y, y component over x component. No? So, the magnitude of our uh, resultant vector based from Pythagorean theorem is vx squared plus vy squared. No? v squared equals vx squared plus vy squared. Tapos, ayan, summarizing, this is what we get. Yan lang, guys. Ito, meron pa akong, ano, meron pa akong, meron pa akong dagdag sa inyo. Um, look sa, ano ko, ah, look dito. Hindi naman porket ganon, hindi naman porket binigyan ka ng angle, uh, yung x natin ay cosine theta agad, yung y natin ay sine theta. What do I mean? Example. 
example, yung binigay sa iyo angle ganto. Yan, example ganyan. Tapos yun yung V. The X component is opposite, di ba? Ito yung X eh. Di ba? V cosine, ay V sine theta. Di ba? V sine theta. V y equals V cosine theta. Di ba? Yan. Tapos yung angle is tan inverse ng Vx over Vy. So, it's okay, no? Most of the time naman, sa physics, hindi naman to common, no? Hindi naman to common. Most of the time, yung pinibay na angle, ganito parate. So, if you're asked for x and y components, most of the time, cosine tsaka sine respectively. Uh, pero, at sa cases nga, paano kung ganito yung binibay na angle sa'yo, know how to uh, uh, recalculate, um, you know, uh, uh, rearrange your calculations as needed, no? It depends on the location of your angle. Okay? Sige, I hope you get that. Ngayon, I'm going to ask you to answer this. No? Okay? Find the x and y component. Ay, ako pala muna, no? Find the x and y components of the displacement vector. 500 meters, 30 degrees north of east. Ayan, so... Um, ay, sorry, let me switch. Isa pa. Ako naman muna, no? Uh, find the x and y components of the displacement vector, 500 meters, 30 degrees north of east. So, sabi ko nga kanina, no? Draw your vector first. Kasi, una, hindi given yun. Pero if you draw it, ganito siya lalabas, no? So, how do I find the x and y components? Simple. Vx equals V cosine theta for 33 meters and Vy equals V sine theta 250 meters. Yun na. Tapos na tayo. Tapos, actually guys, um, oh, by the way, um, nalimutan ko sabihin, there are other ways of adding vectors, to, pero for our purposes and for our best interest, ito na yung method natin. Meron din kasi uh, by graphing, or kaya by uh, tail, tip-to-tail method, pero we won't be doing that. Ano? Diretso na tayo sa real method of adding vectors, like components. So example, marami kang vectors, no? marami kang vectors. V1, V2, V3, and so on and so forth. You can break them down into components. Diba? Uh, break them down into components first. V1X, V2X, V3X. Then, into their Y components. V1, Y, V2, Y, V3, Y. Then, get the, get the sum of the X and Y components. Then, after that, um, after that, no, we can get the magnitude of our uh, resultant vector and yung uh, direction natin uh, is ano is uh, vry over vrx y over x component to? always like that okay sige so at uh, summary uh, how do we add vectors multiple vectors by components number one draw a figure number two get the individual x and y components of each vector Take into account the directions of each vector. Bakit? Let's see later, no? Number three, add all the x and y components of each vector. And number four, get the resultant from the given information. So, sige, example. Example, ito. Uh, rural mail carrier leaves the post office and drives 22 kilometers in a north direction. Pa north. Then she then drives in a direction 60 degrees south of east, which is this one, di ba? South of east for 47 kilometers. What is her displacement from the office? So, ang tinatanong ito. Ang tinatanong, displacement vector, no? You can solve it by basic geometry kasi nga, it's a vector, no? Iba to. Okay? So, yun nga, first step is to draw the figure, which it has been done already. Tapos yun yung resultant, di ba? Tapos, next, uh, think of it as a Cartesian plane. Actually, there are two ways of drawing vectors. Yung isa, depending on how it's drawn sa problem, as in ganto, or the other one is like this, no? Um, ilagay mo na diretso sa Cartesian plane. Kumbaga, uh, diretso na. Ito yung 22 kilometers. Kumbaga, reference point origin. Doon mo sila, doon ka nag-start mag-draw ng vectors. Pwede rin. Or, tapos yung isa, ito, di ba? 47 kilometers south of east. Okay, dito na pumapasok yung direction of each vector. So, for vector D1, let's get the individual x and y components. 
or D1, the X component is 0. Kasi straight lang siya pataas, di ba? So, ang Y component lang meron, 22. Pero tignan natin itong D2, no? D2. Tignan natin to. Ano papansin nyo? Yung isa may negative. Bakit? No? Bakit? Bakit may negative? Kasi, nandito siya sa fourth quadrant, di ba? This one is quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4. Uh, and as you remember, sa Cartesian plane natin, pag quadrant 1, positive yung x and y. Ibig sabihin, dito, positive ang both x and y components. Wait lang guys ha, mayroong tumatawag sa akin. Hello? Nakadobo lang, hindi makapasok. Ha, ah, talaga? Okay, okay. Okay guys, pasensya na, no? Um, okay, game. So, tuloy ko, no? Dito na tayo sa whiteboard. Diba, if you remember, ang mga... Sorry, pasensya na, no? Um, dumating kasi parents ko. So, if you remember, uh, may quadrant tayo, diba? So, depending kung nasaan yung vector natin, iba rin yung signs, no? Dito sa quadrant 3, Negative ang x and y components, pareho. Sa quadrant 4, positive x, negative y component. Diba? Sa, sa quadrant 1, positive parehong x and y component. And sa quadrant 2, negative x and positive y component. Diba? So, depende kung saan, then lalagyan mo rin na signs yung mga vector components mo. Okay, what's next? Um... 
Yun, so for the second vector, kaya dito, ang, ang ano natin, may negative, no? Kasi sine 60. Tapos, uh, nasa quadrant 4 siya. Ang y coordinate, y component, is negative. Okay? Tapos, we add the individual components. Uh, displacement Rx, uh, resultant sa x is 23.5, and this, uh, resultant sa y is negative 15.7. Let's let's get the, the let's get the magnitude 30.0 km no if we get the square root okay theta ito na ito pa isa if in input ko to sa calc u makukuha niyo negative okay well and depende sa kung saan nakalocate yung vector iba-iba yan no take note na positive ay negative yung y positive yung x di ba so ah uh, i-sabi nasa quadrant 4 yung ating angle no so dapat paganto siya Kasi negative, ba? So, it should be something like that. Yan yun, 38.5 degrees south of east. And that's how you state your direction. Sige. Um, let's try this. I'll give you... I'll give you, ano? I'll give you 5 minutes ulit. Ito naman. Balik ko lang ng konti kanina, no? Kasi baka din yung nakita. So, yan, ulit. Um, uh, add all the x, 23.5, negative 18.7. The resultant is 30. Then, get the direction. Take note kasi, di ba, negative y, positive x. Ibig sabihin, nasa quadrant 4 pa rin yung angle natin. So, dapat, 38.5 degrees south of east. Kasi alam natin na ito yon no? Yan yun. 38.5 degrees south of east. There we go. Ngayon, um, ito naman, try nyo, no? 5 minutes. Let's see if uh, gets you yung sinabi ko kanina. 5-10 minutes. Sige. Pag may hindi kayo get, um, yun, pakisabi lang sa akin. O, uh, ask the group chat, no? Yan. Um, the plane's total displacement, um, ano pala, uh, pengin, uh, magnitude and direction ng vector, no? Magnitude and direction.
um, as a clue, this is how it looks like. No? This is how it looks like. Uh, teka, ha? Yeah, that's how it looks like. Sige, uh, two minutes.
ันนี้โอเคสิ่งที่เราจะพูดคือสิ่งที่เราจะพูดคือสิ่งที่เราจะพูดคือสิ่งที่เราจะพูดคือสิ่งที่เราจะพูดคือสิ่งที่เราจะพูดคือสิ่งที่เราจะพูดคือสิ่งที่เราจะพูดคือสิ่งที่เราจะพูดคือสิ่งที่เราจะพูดคือสิ่งที่เราจะพูดคือ The first leg, due east, 6:20 km. Next, the second leg, D1, it's named as D1. Second leg is southeast. Okay, pag southeast, sabi ko nga ano na yon? 45 degrees, no? 45 degrees yon. Kasi pag southeast, middle sa no? 440 km. And the last one, the third leg is at 50 degrees south of west, no? For 550 km. Five fifty km. Okay, sige. Let's let's ano let's get everything, no? Um, the derecho hin ko na, kasi ah sa physics ganto naman, no? As long as organized ka, you can do everything, no? Sige. Ah, R x, D one x, plus D two x, plus D three x. D one x is eto, dominated so six twenty lang. Wala naman siya y component, tapos ah, wala naman siya angle, so diretso na. Plus d2x, oh, positive x axis, quadrant 4, so plus 440, cosine 45. Plus d3x, oh, 550, negative, no? Negative dapat, kasi uh, sa quadrant 3 yung angle. So negative yung x component niya. Diba? Diba? Ngayon, moving on sa isa, sa y component, d1y, tas d2y, tas d3y. d1y, uh, wala naman siyang component pa baba, so zero. d2y, negative, di ba? Minus 440 sin 45. Ganun din dito sa d3y. Ah, minus 550 sin 53 solving we get this equals to um, six hundred etong ry Negative seven fifty halos. Negative seven fifty point three thirty eight. No. Now getting the magnitude of the resultant square root ng r x squared plus r y squared. Ah, nagwamadalik si tayo pero actually ang maganda is if pasok yun to derecho sa kalkyo, no? So kaya lang ang nagmamadali tayo plus 600 squared we get something around 960.8 kilometers no? let's see if tama ako yes, tama ako uh, to cut the powerpoint no? tapos um, ano yung direction? theta equals tangent inverse ng y over x so take note, y is negative x is positive So, saan lang pwede yun? Dito sa fourth quadrant, no? So, whatever we get here, south of east yung makakuha natin. So, over ry, rx, we get uh, inverse tangent ng negative 750 over 600, we get negative 51.3 degrees. Or, 
uh, 51.3 degrees south of east. No? That's what we get. Okay. Ngayon, before I move on, meron bang mga tanong? Gets naman? How I did it? Wala naman. Yeah, I'll give a minute to process. No? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Game. Ngayon, let's move on to the next part of our lesson. Ito na yung main project. Projectile motion. No? Projectile motion. Uh, this is the main application ng pinag-aaralan nating mga vectors. No? Kasi, uh, ito naman, kinematics, pero we look at two dimensions. The x and the y direction. No? Okay. Projectile motion is a form of motion. Ay, sorry. Bakit daw po magkaiba yung PPT and board? What do you mean? What do you mean? The graph. Ah, okay. Oh, sige. Kasi sabi ko nga, um, there are, ano, there, you have two options. Ayan, oh, sige. Buti, buti naman. Ayan, no? Bakit daw magkaiba yung ginawa ko sa board, no? There are two ways to draw, di ba? Sabi ko nga kanina, it's either you draw it like that, as in dre-drecho, or if you want, kasi sa physics, ganito talaga eh. Like, um, it starts, everything starts from the origin, no? Kung baga, everything starts from the origin, yun yung isang way to draw, no? Um, kung baga, kung baga, uh, ako, gusto ko ganito, kasi mas madali siyang ma-imagine, no? Nagsasolve lang naman tayo. Uh, and, yun. Okay? It's just another way of drawing. It's just the same thing. Yes, uh, yun dito kasi sa PowerPoint, mahirap kasi siya drawing kasi uh, wala lang, no? Um, you don't start sa center parate, so magigipangit drawing mo. Ito, it's just uh, another way of looking at this. Kasi pareho lang yan, no? Pareho lang yan. Tsaka most, sa mga future physics nyo, may kita nyo parating ganyan yung pagkakadrawing ng pag sample binigyan kayo ng ganyan, may kita nyo ganyan yung pagkakadrawing nyo. Okay? Sige. Okay na? Okay na? Okay na? Nakuha na? Bakit ganyan yung drawing? Gets na po. Okay, sige. Okay, okay sige. Yan na. Um, ano na yun? Pang, pang problem lang na. Uh, problem solving yun. Okay, next. Projectile motion. Uh, projectile motion is a form of motion expressed by, uh, experienced by an object or particle, which is called a projectile. Malamang, yung projectile motion, that is projected near the Earth's surface and moves along a curved path under the action of gravity only. In particular, the effect of air resistance are assumed to be negligible. Ano lang, a uh, very basic example, nagbato ng bola. Yun, yung motion na yun, projectile motion yun. Kasi nilunch mo with an initial velocity, di ba? Tapos, uh, moreover, under the action of gravity only. Kasi pag meron pang ibang, ano, pag meron pang ibang, uh, pag meron pang ibang force, di ba, ito yung projectile motion na alam natin. Pag meron pang ibang force, baka gumanyan yan, no? Hindi siya, hindi na siya perfectly projectile. Kaya, ina-assume natin, naka uh, negligible ang air resistance. Okay, ito. Uh, here's an example, no? GIF of how it works. Naalala niyo yung turo ko sa inyo dati? Sige, mamaya, let's discuss more, no? So, as you see, 
um, at some point, nawawala ng velocity dito. Kasi so, napapansin nyo, halos pareho lang yung x-component x velocity, di ba? Hindi siya nagbabago ng shape. Kasi, ito yung properties ng projectile. Motion is parabolic. Kumbaga, shape niya parang quadratic equation. Next, only gravity is the acting acceleration along the y-axis. Tandaan nyo, ha? Walang acceleration sa x-axis. Okay? Always remember that. Walang acceleration sa x-axis. Kaya, ang, ang velocity along the x-axis is always constant. Ayan, see? Tapos yung velocity sa y always changes. Kasi, doon lang yung may acting acceleration. Negative yung magnitude niya. Kasi nga pababa siya. Okay? Okay. Um, ito, let me erase all the ink. Uh, teka, let me remove that. Sorry. Hindi hmm, ko alam, ba't may ganyan? Teka. So, sige, let's look at two distinct cases, no? Ito yung una, no? A pro an object projected horizontally with initial velocity v not or vi, ang v0 is vi din, ha? Initial velocity equals vx along the x-axis. Walang, ano, walang angle. So, walang, ano, walang velocity siya sa start sa y-axis versus object drop down vertically, no? So, as you see, ah, uh, di ba? Sa free fall, di ba, dinadrop na natin yung object dito, dinoject natin ng may horizontal velocity. Ano ba pansin nyo? At, uh, at the same moment, pareho sila na ng bababa, no? Pareho sila na binababa. So, it just shows na constant yung acceleration sa Vx and constant yung pag-increase ng velocity sa Vy. So, dito sa projectile motion, you look at two dimensions, x and y. And you can then compare. It's a very powerful tool kasi you can then compare motions of different cases, no? Next, object projected at theta with initial velocity v na. Oh. See? Oh. Ito na. Diba? At the highest point, naalala nyo dati, sa free fall, the velocity stops, no? The object stops. Pero dito hindi. Kasi, meron siyang velocity along x. Pero, walang velocity along y. So, yun. Dito sa projected motion, as long as level yung motion mo, di ba? Uh, it starts at the same velocity, it ends at the same velocity also. Kaya pareho ng haba, no? Tapos yan, at the top, at the highest point, Vy equals zero. Pero may Vx pa rin. Vx is the same anywhere. Kaya magka haba yung mga components nila, no? As acceleration present is only due to gravity. Okay? Sige. Kaya, ito, if you remember this, I hope you still do, magamit pa rin natin to. In fact, ito na yung gamitin natin buong lesson na to. So, projectile motion, no? Um, general kinematic equations for constant acceleration in two dimensions. No? So, for two dimensions, uh, pareho pa rin yung kinematic equations natin, no? Pareho pa rin. Ang pinagkaiba lang, ayun, ito for x, ito for y. Kaya nilagyan ng x at y, no? Tapos, ang vx naught is equal to v naught cosine theta. Kasi, um, pag nagbibigay sa iyo ng, ng velocity, ano na siya, resultant na yun. So, you get the components, di ba? x and y components. Yung isa cosine, yung isa sine. Tapos, for two-dimension motion, sabi ko nga kanina, equations are still applicable. So, kung gagamitin mo to, substitute mo to dyan, no? Substitute mo sa vx, ito, substitute mo sa vy, and so on, no? Kaya lang, for projectile motion, ito lang yung makukuha natin. Pero I don't want you to memorize, guys. Wala lang yan. Nang wala lang yan. Legit. You don't have to memorize that. You just use your logic. Imagine lang, no? Same, 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 same lang siya. Okay? Wala tayong gagamitin dyan. It's just, ano, matter of memorization and uh, mastery of the concept. No? Mastery of the concept. Yung parating importante sa PC. Mastery of the concept. So, ito lang tatandaan nyo, no? Dahil nga, sa x, constant yung velocity, uh, the range, range, or yung, ito, ito yung range, no? ito yung range, kasi ito yung height, no? ito yung range, no? horizontal distance, is just equal to vxt, kasi nga, uh, constant yung uh, x velocity, no? 
sige, ako muna dito. So, let's say, na, uh, just look at the board, no? Um, look at the PowerPoint, and lang if you want. Pero I'll look at, I'll write sa board. So, ito, I'm going to draw. You'll see kung bakit you don't need to memorize, no? Oh, horizontally. 50 meters. Ano mag yung gross? Okay, H plus 50, no? Tapos yung range, 90. Wala siyang, hindi natin alam kung ano yung initial velocity niya, di ba? Yun yung hinahanap natin. Okay. So, I'm going to write the kinematic equations. Okay, ngayon let's analyze, no? We need yung VI. We need yung VI. Okay, so what do we have? Hmm, sige. Oh, um... Ako, if I were to do this, uh, I would use, um... Wait, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, sige. I will use this. Ano nyo bakit? Ano nyo bakit? I will use this. Bakit? Kasi, take note, dahil launch horizontally siya, wala siyang ini... Let's look at the y component muna. Yun. So, look at what I'm doing. I'm breaking it down into x and y components. So, sa x component, ito na ang mga gawa natin eh. Diba? Which is actually what we're looking for. R equals V naught. T. Bakit ito na yung V naught? Kasi... Yun na, yung, yun na yung velocity natin eh. Wala naman siyang velocity sa y-axis, no? R equals V naught T. So, sa y component naman, no? y component. Let's look at the y component. Ito lang yung mga gawan ko ng paraan talaga. Bakit? Kasi, look. Okay. Ito. Pag ganito, pababa siya, di ba? Sa baba siya mag-e-end. Negative 50. Bakit negative? Kasi displacement niya pababa, di ba? So, yan. Set this as your origin. 0. Diba? Set that as your origin. H plus 0. Think of it as a coordinate system, no? This one is negative 50. Sige. Solving. Negative 50. Initial 0. Walang velocity sa y. 1 half 80 squared, no? Negative. Uh, uh, sige. Negative 1 half. Uh, 1 half times negative 9.8 times t squared. Okay, t squared equals 50 over 4.9, t equals that, no? Maya natin solve. Or kay bahala, you can solve. You can choose to solve. Tapos, pasok natin dito. You know, we have the time. So, we can get our v naught, our ask, no? v naught equals r over t. 90 over eto square root of 50 over 4.9 we get around twenty eight point seventeen meters per second ayan um, pakisabi na lang if meron tayong tanong, no? See? Galing, no? Yan lang. You don't have to memorize. Concept lang. Concept, no? Okay. Before I move on, meron bang tanong? Let's 
see you. Um, I'll continue, ha? Huh? Okay, demonstration. A kick football leaves the ground at an angle of 37 degrees with a velocity of 20 meters per second as shown in the figure. Calculate the maximum height, the time of travel before the ball hits the ground, and how far away it hits the ground. Or your range, no? Your range. Okay, sige, let's try, ha? Eh? Look at the, look at the whiteboard ulit. Ganito lang ulit. Kinematic equations lang. Actually, teka lang, ha? Okay, sige, game, ha? Game. Uh, Ito, I'll draw. Ito ba binigay sa atin? That's all. Maximum height. Let's look at the y component. Kasi ito may madali eh. Diba? Vf equals vi plus 80. Y component to ah. Y component. So, syempre, we need to get the time muna, no? Time para to reach the highest point. So, what's it? Uh, di ba, Vf or along to the y-axis is equal to 0. Vi equals 20 sine 37. Plus negative 9.8 times t. T equals 20 sine 37 over negative 9.8. So, can solve it na rin if you want. Pero ako kayo. Opa. Sige, what's next? Now, I get the height. Now, I get the height. Hmm. Oh. Um, height equals initial distance. Wala. Initial Time. Oh, h equals initial height plus VIT plus one half AT squared, diba? Use that pa rin. 20.37T minus kasi one half times negative 9.8, diba? So, yan, in-account ko na T squared. Solve for this. We will get, wait lang, pala to guys ha, negative no so pag nag ano pag nilipat natin magka-cancel out we get 7.39 meters Actually, may naisip pa akong mas madaling method, no? Let's look at the y component ulit, ha? May naisip na ako bigla ngayon. Hmm. Diba? We're looking for the height. Vf squared. Vi squared plus 2ad. Diba? Distance. It was Vf squared versus Vi squared over 2 times a. So, substituting, 0 minus 20 sine 37 squared over 2 times negative 9.8. Let's try. We had the same thing, 7.39 meters. Yan. Your choice, no? Your choice, what you want. Okay? Your choice, what you want. Diba? Um, maraming methods to solve this. Okay, sige. What's next? Letter B. Letter B. Um, 
find the time it is it stays in the air, no? Find the time it stays in the air. Naalala niyo ginawa natin kanina? Let's just apply yung concept, no, para madali. Ito, ano yung ginawa natin kanina yung Vf equals Vi plus Vt? We can use that again. Looking at the y component pa rin, ha? Equals to, diba? Ito ay 20 sine 37 over 9.8. Yan na, times 2. Bakit? Level horizontal surface. Parang sa free fall, diba? Kung alam naman yung time nito, to reach this, times 2, it, it reaches there. No? So, we multiply that by 2. Two point forty six seconds. Okay, lastly, how far away does it hit the ground? So, the ba r equals v naught x t. So, v cosine theta, v naught cosine theta t equals twenty cosine thirty seven times eto we get this 39.2 meters. Ngayon, before I continue, may tanong ba? I'll give you a minute to process again. Kuha naman yung ginagawa natin. So, I'll give a minute to process. Okay? Sige? Yan na, if mayroong tanong, please, sabi nila sa akin. Okay? Sige. Ngayon, let's, ano, let's generalize this, no? Let's generalize. Um, sige, paano kung, paano kung, sige, look, ha? Paano kung meron akong, ano, the, uh, I'm sure naman maintindihan nyo to, paano kung meron akong, Kasi di ba napaka-tedious ng ginagawa natin? Actually, may shortcut to, guys. So, sige, let me show you. Actually, for uh, for a projectile, thrown at level horizontal, no? Level horizontal. There are ways to get the range and um, max height and your time, no? Time. Para makuha natin agad, no? there are ways to do that. Okay, paano yan? So, sige, given, ano, given, uh, given initial velocity, VI. Sige, let's start. Surat ko lang tatlo, ha? R equals VI XT. Sige, yun muna, no? 
Sige, let's go. Start muna sa y-axis, no? Let's get the height, max height. Nangalala niyo kanina yun, vf squared equals vi squared minus 2ad along the y-axis. Let's do that again. Diba sa highest point ng parabola, ang vy doon ay 0. Diba kanina? Sige, isa pa. vf squared equals vi squared minus viy squared minus 2 a, I plus 2A, B. Diba? Substituting, H max, VF squared minus VI squared over 2A. Negative, okay, 2G, no? 2G. If we get it, diba? Oo, 2G, diba? Um, tapos, sige, over 2A na lang. Mamaya natin pasukin, no? Okay, what's next? Palitan natin yung VI tsaka VF. Yung VF 0, di ba? Yung VIY natin is VI, VI sin theta squared, di ba? Tapos yung 2A, negative 2G. So there, we have an, an expression already for the height, max height. VI squared sin squared theta over 2G. For 11 horizontal surface. Next. The range naman. So let's get the total time of travel muna. Let's use the y component ulit. Diba? At the highest point, vfy equals viy plus 80. Diba? Uh, time equals vfy minus viy over a. So, Let's see, ah, yung VFY0 minus uh, VI sine theta over G, negative G. So, VI sine theta over G. Kaya lang, that's only one half. That's only one half. We need the whole thing para makuha natin ng expression to. So, it's 2 VI sine theta. Time of flight for a level horizontal range. Okay? Ayusin ko lang yung formula list, ha? Para madalian tayo. And what's last? Ito. VI cosine theta. T times 2 VI sine theta over G equals 2 VI squared sine theta cos theta over G. Actually, if you don't know sa advanced trigonometry, no, which you don't have yet, this can be simplified into an angle. Ito, itong 2 cosine theta cosine theta. VI squared sine 2 theta over G. Yan na. So, we have three equations. Ngayon, ayusin ko na, no? Yan. Ito, equation. H max, time, and the range for a level horizontal motion. In case na tinatamad kayo gawin yung kanina, pwede nyo rin itong gawin. Sige. Kering, no? Now, let's go back to our PowerPoint. Ayan. See? Okay. Sige. Max range at 45 degrees. Bakit? Let's look at the, ano ulit? Let's look at the Let's look at this. Max range at 45 degrees. Bakit naman? Bakit naman? No? Bakit naman? Kasi, di ba, pag, pag may sine theta tayo, it makes our components smaller. Di ba? Kasi, a value of sine theta is less than 1 all the time. Di ba? So, ito, sine 2 theta, magiging max yan kapag nag 1 ito. Di ba? Pag nag 1 ito, walang binawas. So, at 45 degrees yan. Kasi sine 90 equals 0. Ay, equals 1. Diba? Max height, hindi naman importante yun. Okay? 
Tapos one more thing, one more thing. Ang theta, kapag complementary sila, pareho sila ng range na babagsakan. Bakit? O, sige, try natin. Talaga, VI squared sine to 90 minus theta. Over G. Now, I don't know if nag-trigo na kayo, pero sige, let me show lang for the sake. Simplify natin to. VI sine 180 minus 2 theta over G. Okay, ano ba to? Ano ba to? So, by example, meron tayo angle na 2 theta. Ito siya. 180 minus uh, 180 minus um, so by example, meron tayo 2 theta. So, 180 minus 2 theta ay ito. Diba? Kaya lang, um, o oh, sige, never mind. No? Never mind. Basta yan. Tapos, um, pag-simplify natin yan, Oh, di ba? Sin 180 cosine 2 theta 0 minus nito. Cosine pi is negative 1. Sin 2 theta, di ba? Kaya ang, kaya ang, ano, kaya pag complementary yung angles, example, uh, we follow, we follow, we follow a projectile at 30 degrees and at 60 degrees angle, Pareho lang yung babag sa kanila. Try nyo yun. One day. 60 degrees, 30 degrees. Pareho lang yun. Okay? Sige. Yan. Kaya tingnan nyo to. Diba? Kaya tingnan nyo to, no? Max range. Tapos pag complementary yung angle... same range, no? So, sige, let me demonstrate, no? Paano to with the, paano to gawin with the, um, paano to gawin with the formulas that we have? Kanina, no? Easy lang yan. Plug and play. Drawing ko lang ulit, no? Okay, yan di ba? So, ang tanong sa atin nung una, max height. Vi squared sine squared theta over 2G. Vi squared 20 sine squared theta 37 over 2, 2G. 2 times 9 point. Calculating, you would get Seven point thirty nine meters. Pareho lang, di ba? Next, time of flight. See, equals to v i sine theta over g. Two times twenty times sine theta over g. Two point forty six seconds. And lastly. Lastly, um, range, range. The I squared sine 2 theta over G equals 20 squared sine 37 times 274 over G. So getting that, we get 39.2 meters. Pareho lang, di ba? Galing, no? Okay.
Okay. Ngayon, before we continue, nakuha ba? Before we continue, gets ba? Hmm. I'll give you a minute to process. Hmm. Okay na guys? Buti, ano, gets ba? Gets po. Okay, sige. Ngayon, may papasagot ako sa inyo. Try, let's try 5 minutes, no? Then, meron pa isa after dito. Wait lang, check, check, check ko ah. Sige, ito, pakitry. 5 minutes. 5 to 10 minutes, sige. Chance to use 
In case that you need the formulas, babalik ko na sandali ha. In case that you need the formulas, no? Sige, go lang. Continue. Thank you, sir. Okay, I'll just wait. Um, wala, ang padala lang kayo if may answer na kayo. Okay, um, teka, let's see. Uh, di ba, Armea, sabi ko, I mean, hindi pala. Uh, di ba, sabi ko kanina, um, pag-complimentary yung angle, 
pareho lang yung range na pupuntahan. So, there's another answer dapat. I'm expecting two answers, no? You go. Pero tama na itong isa. I'm, I'm expecting for one more. Sige, go lang. I'll wait. Okay, sige. Um, I think time's up. Okay, medyo matagal na, no? Um, okay, let me discuss. Okay, uh, time's up. Ay, sorry. Okay, uh, time's up. Uh, medyo matagal na tayo, no? Sige, let me discuss. Uh, look at the whiteboard na lang muna, no? Ayan, di ba? Um, v not equals 60, 60 meters per second. Oh, range. V i squared sine uh, sine 2 theta over g. V i squared sine 2 theta over g equals to um, 320, di ba? Sine 2 theta was 320g over the i squared. 2 theta equals um, equals uh, 320g over the i squared. Sine inverse. No? Can I take note? Um, but we'll get theta here. One half the top. Okay, let's try getting. Ay, sige, oh, ulitin ko. Hindi ko pala na-switch sa uh, whiteboard. No? R plus V I squared sine 2 theta over G. V I squared sine 2 theta over G equals 320 the range. Solve for theta using inverse sine. No? 2 theta equals sine inverse 320 G over V I squared. Theta equals 1 half ng sine inverse. No? Sige, let's calculate. Ang B, B, B initial natin ay 60. So, we get 30.29 degrees as one of the angle. Tapos, complementary, remember, pareho lang. So, also, 59.71 59 no? 59 degrees will also work. Okay? 
Sige. Uh, before I move on, may tanong ba? Okay. Sige. Ito. Puka to PowerPoint. Heart rate kapag tama. Good job.
Papa yan? Siya ito. Hindi, siya. Papa yan. Ay, hindi sila lang ako eh. Hindi sa akin yan. Kasi papa na siya. Papa na siya. Pagbaba mo, bababa ka na. Baba mo yan ngayon, marunin ha. Okay, okay. Sige, I'll discuss in two minutes. Last photo for today. Okay. Hmm, tapi kita make time. Sige, let's we'll discuss. Hmm. Time, di ba? Easy lang yan. Level horizontal surface. 
Tapos, hindi ko. Solving. <laughs> um, yun lang. 2 VI sin theta over G. Solving. It's 2 times um, 18 times sine 31 over 9.8. Wait lang. Ah, baka kasi ibang method na. 1.89 seconds. 1.89 seconds. Ayan. Okay. So, that's it. Pero before we, ano, go before we end, um, sige. Diba? T equals 2 VI sin theta over G. R equals VI squared sin 2 theta over G. H equals VI squared sin squared theta over G. Ano pa? VF equals VI plus AT. VF squared equals VI squared plus 2 AD. XF equals XI plus VIT plus 1 half AT squared. Average velocity equals VI plus VF over 2. Uh, R equals V not XT. So on and so forth. Kinematic equation. Huh? Okay. So, um, I left an optional homework. You can check out the, you can check out the Google Classroom na lang. Nag-post na ako, no? If you want to answer. Um, send it to me na lang before, uh, before Monday, no? On, on Saturday, we're going to answer the problem set for uh, statistics, no? Statistics problem set 1. Problem set discussion. Um, Tapos on Saturday, if okay lang, um, okay na sa inyo, sa morning tayo. If okay lang naman, I'll give you a time. No? Kasi, kayo lang naman yung klase ko sa Saturday. Okay? So, sige guys, yun lang. Uh, maraming salamat. I hope that you learned a lot today. Sige guys, yun lang. Okay,